Hi guys. Purple, yellow and red. What's up guys, it's Henry and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today's video, I have something very, very special. But, but before we start with today's video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, feel free to subscribe to my channel because I'm doing so many DIYs and if you're interested in DIYs, then feel free to subscribe. I can fully understand if you don't want to, but today's video is going to be lit, I can tell. So for today's video, I've decided to do a DIY, a embroidery beginner tutorial. Um, because you guys asked me so many times, how do you do that? How do you do your embroidery? Can you teach us? Can you teach me? And so I decided to conclude this in a video by teaching you today from scratch how to embroider. Even though if you haven't embroidered in your life before, you're gonna make this happen today. In my last vlog I told you that I have never seen Avatar in my life before so I started watching it and I'm it turned out I'm a complete fan. I'm like the biggest fan right now. So what I've decided today is uh, since I've shared the upper embroidery in the last video I'm going to recreate this hoodie with another character which is my favorite character of the show. It's going to be Aang. So this is like what we are going to do today. All right guys, I put it on and it looks so cool. So before we start with the materials and actually start with the DIY project, I wanted to tell you when you are a beginner, I can fully recommend to start with a design or a pattern, which is not very difficult. I can fully recommend to do a 2D design. For example, this comic character here is a 2D design, even though it has some slight of shades, but as you can see, these shades have only one colors. And if you, if you choose to uh, do a 3D design, you might have to mix some different colors. But I think this design is pretty easy. For the materials you're gonna need, obviously some embroidery floss. These are the embroidery colors or embroidery floss colors you're gonna need. Also, you're gonna need a scissor, of course, some safety pins, some water. It's not necessary to have this in a sprinkling bottle. Then also a nail scissor. As for the needles, I'm using some specific type of embroidery needles. I'm gonna link them in the description as well. Um, these are out of metal. Then, of course, you need an embroidery hoop. Mine is approximately 20 centimeters long. You always need your fabric, your piece of clothing you wanna embroider on. So I can fully recommend to do a hoodie um, because the material is very soft and smooth. Last but not least, you're gonna need your design. Print it out. Um, so many people ask me if it's a specific type of paper, but I can say it's normal printing paper, but more like premium printing paper. So the paper is not very thin, but also not very thick. So as a first step, beginning the tutorial, we're gonna cut out our design. We do not need the whole paper around it. We're gonna cut out our little ang, and then we're gonna attach the embroidery hoop to our hoodie, which is going to happen here. Magic. We're gonna attach it also with some safety pins. Then we're gonna start our embroidery process. You're gonna first embroidering the outline of our design. And by outline, I mean all the outlines of our design. After the outlining process, we're gonna remove the paper and then we're gonna fill it out, the whole design with our colors. When you have your embroidery floss, um, you will see that your embroidery floss is very thick. So what I can fully recommend is dividing this thick um, embroidery floss into two pieces. I always cut my embroidery floss as long as my arm is that means it's about 30 centimeters or something like that. Then we're gonna tie a little knot at the end of our floss, which is a double knot. So you put a knot first and on top you're gonna put another knot. Then we're gonna loop our little thread through the hole of our needle and we start embroidering. And we always start embroidering by going from the inside to the outside, so our little thread axis 
is going to face in the inside and not to the outside of our hoodie. Um, I'm gonna use two different types of stitch all the time when I'm doing my embroidery work. So for my first stitch, I always use a split stitch. So the first stitch we're gonna do is we're going to start from the inside, poking our needle to the outside of the hoodie and pull our yarn through until the very end, until it hits our knot. Then we're gonna set our next stitch, which is a little bit along the line we wanna go of our outline. Then comes the specific step that defines our split stitch. We're going to go a little bit back in our stitch and poke our needle from the inside to the outside, splitting the first stitch. And then we're gon gonna continue our next stitch by moving a little bit further along our line. As I said, I'm combining two types of stitch. The other stitch is called the back stitch. The back stitch I'm using for like round shapes and more like edges. It works similar to the split stitch, but this time you're gonna switch up the process. For the back stitch, you're gonna start from the inside. This time you go along your line already from the inside. You poke, you define your next stitch by poking from the inside to the outside. And then you go back all the way back to your last stitch and poke from the outside into the inside and pull your yarn through. So that's like the two types of stitches I'm using for the whole embroidery process. And as I said, we're gonna do the um, outline, the black outline first. When you are done with all the black outlines, as you can see, I'm starting to do the other outlines where I'm starting with the coat, for example, because as you can see in the coat, he has two types of colors, which is one of the shade colors, which is a darker red, and one of the bright colors, which is a bright red. And to, to define these kind of parts, I'm gonna outline the outer line of the dark red colors. As you might recognize, during the process of embroidering, your embroidery floss will get shorter. That means uh, I usually end my embroidery floss when I only have like something like five centimeters of excess thread left. So you set your last stitch for this. That means that you poke your needle through from the outside into the inside and then you turn your work around and then you're gonna tie a double knot to end and close your stitch and embroidery floss. The axis of this end you're gonna cut with your scissors. So when you are done with all the outlining, you're gonna start obviously removing your paper. And in order to remove our paper, we're gonna need our water. As you might know, when you put water onto paper and leave it a little bit, it will get very, very soft and you can easily rip it off. So that's what we are actually going to do now. So I have my sprinkling bottle here. So I sprinkle some water over the design and work it in by rubbing it in and then you will see it gets very very loose and you can start ripping off big pieces of the paper with your fingers and for all the tiny and detailed stuff I can fully recommend to use something very sharp and pointy and um, for example a nail scissors. This will take some time and if you are working very gentle it is very easy. <laughs> So when you have removed all your paper, um, you I can fully recommend before starting the filling out process to let it dry. In order to start filling out our embroidery design, it's actually the whole same process as the outlining. So for this, we're going to need obviously our colors. In my case, I'm starting with the flowers, so I'm picking my light pink. As for the filling out process, you can set your stitches a little bit bigger, not more than two centimeters. I try to shape the objects I'm going to embroider in a certain pattern. For example, for the flowers, I'm going to go from the center of the flower to the outside of the flower. For example, later on you will see in the code, for example, I only have straight lines going all the way next to each other. Also in the face, they go all the same directions next to each other. For my stitch, I'm also using the split stitch. So this intertwining process will also stabilize your embroidery and I figured out that it won't take up too much thread. For the face, you can see um, I outlined the eye section as well. 
when I embroider at these kind of spots, I try to loop my floss underneath these kind of stitches and set my next stitch behind it. That's actually it. I mean, there's nothing more like to describe. I This took like so many hours, I can tell you. So that's like, if you are, want to start embroidering, you have to be aware that it will take up some time, but it's very, very meditating and relaxing as well. So I can fully recommend doing it. When you are bored, you can always watch avatar during it or some other kind of TV show. But sometimes when you outline through the paper, some details might get a little bit messy. What I did is I'm using my black floss to finalize some details, for example, the eye parts and some parts of the teeth and some lines that weren't connected before. To secure your whole project in the end, I can fully recommend to iron it. I first obviously take off the embroidery hoop, then I'm going to iron it. And what I can fully recommend to put parchment paper on top as a layer on top of your embroidery to not destroy the embroidery by the heat. What the ironing process will do is it will seal your thread in the inside. Well, that's it. I hope you guys liked this video. I would be very, very happy if you could give it some thumbs up if you liked this video and also feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. There will be so many more DIY videos in future. And as you can see, I also released new music last Friday, which is absolutely cool because I love the song so much. It always makes me happy when I hear the song and it was so much fun producing the song. Also check out my um, social media, which is linked over here. And yeah, that's actually it. I can't wait to be back in the next video and to see you guys soon. So yeah, I'm out. See you guys soon. Bye. Ciao.